Hello sweet friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. I'm Skye and I'm so happy that you're here for this one. Wow, what a week and a half it has been. So about eight or nine days ago, I had my wisdom teeth taken out and oh my goodness, it was awful. Um, I know not everyone has a horrible experience and the actual experience with the surgeon and all of that was so great. They were amazing. Um, just certain circumstances uh, just led to a really challenging recovery. So I have a little bit of a lisp because the inside of my cheeks are still pretty swollen from the incision site. So I apologize for that. Hopefully it's not too noticeable, but I want to jump right in. I am so excited to be just doing something creative again. I have been kind of trying to distract myself this past week and a half and doing a few things around the house, but I'm really excited to see it all kind of come together. So this is going to be done in two parts. Today's video is going to be our antique shopping part, and I do have a pretty decent sized haul at the end, so make sure you stay for that because it's really good. I got some amazing finds and I'm so excited to um, be able to bring those into our home and decorate with them. So that is gonna be part two of the video. We're gonna take over the breakfast nook area and do a lot of decorating in there. Chad and I put up a beautiful gallery wall in that space, which I filmed, so that'll be in the next video. We got a new light fixture, I found a rug, and then we're gonna put in some decorative items as well, do a simple everyday tablescape, and I just can't wait. So I'm really excited. I feel like that portion of the house and really, the majority of our house, I'm trying to kind of shift into more of like that European farmhouse style. I'm just really loving that right now. The antiques and the wooden pieces and the darker pieces, bringing some moodiness and warmth into our house. So I'm just really loving how everything is kind of shaping up and I can't wait to share it with y'all. So thanks again for being here. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new and let me pop in the footage from the antique store and then we will meet back here and take a look at my finds. A few days have passed since I filmed the intro to this video. I ended up getting sick and needing to take a couple of days to kind of recoup and recover. And I'm feeling a lot better now, despite how my voice sounds. But I did want to get this video out for y'all. It is just chock full of so much antique decor goodness. So I actually combined two different shopping trips into one video. They are both at the depot, but there's just so much to see that sometimes you can't see it all in one day. So I came back a second day and grabbed some more footage and there's just truly so much to see. So I actually wanted to share this with y'all because I found this to be helpful and you may also have some input or ideas on how you're able to go to an antique store or a thrift store and really see as much as you possibly can in that particular trip. What I did was I went to each booth and really intentionally scanned the booth for the items that I was looking for. Oftentimes I'll just kind of peruse down the aisles looking in at the booths and trying to do just a really quick overall look at them to see if anything kind of shouts out to me or speaks to me. However, I usually miss a lot when I'm doing that. So. During these two trips, I decided that I'd go booth by booth and I would stop and I would scan for each particular item. So I would look for frames, I would look for um, brass candlesticks, I would look for old vintage books that maybe fit my color palette that I was looking for. I would look for white dishware and iron stone. I would look for just brassy items that might look well with our decor. I even looked for some different furniture pieces that I thought would be good for our home. So each booth I went through and just intentionally looked at 
for those specific items individually. And I found that I was able to discover a lot more treasures this way because I wasn't overwhelmed by all of this stuff. There's a lot of filler items and items that maybe aren't my taste or my style. And sometimes I can just zoom right past a booth because the overall aesthetic isn't necessarily what I'm looking for, but then I miss those hidden treasures. So if you have any other ideas or tips that you'd love to share in the comments down below about just how to seek out those individual treasures that you might be going to the antique store looking for, I would definitely love to read those down below. Another item that I was just really keeping my eyes peeled for were these beautiful European style jugs, the massive Crocs. I love these. I'm really trying to find one that is a little bit more affordable, but these really seem to hold their value. And then I loved these jugs. I thought they were absolutely beautiful. I loved the just kind of texture that each one had. They were all a little bit different and really seemed to kind of fit that European style that I am enjoying bringing into our home. This was one of the more affordable Crocs that I found while adventuring through the depot. It was priced at 95, but I still didn't want to spend that. So I'm curious for those of you who kind of keep your eyes peeled for these beautiful larger Crocs, what would you pay? What's your top dollar for something like that? I also wanted to share this really cute kids table. It's a little too small for our kids, but it was a great price for the table. It had turned legs and it dropped leaf and it was just really beautiful. And that was a piece that I was definitely telling my friends about. And I think one of them might even have gone back to snatch it up.
while I was at the depot on this day, I was actually at the checkout register and I heard the sweetest lady say, do you have a YouTube channel? Her name is Michelle. Michelle, if you're watching this, I'm so glad you said hi. It was so sweet to get to meet you and your mom. They had come to the depot. It was a, I believe she said three hour drive from where they live. And she came because she had seen me share about the depot a few times on YouTube and just wanted to check it out for herself. And it was just such a sweet like coincidence that we were both there on the same day. And I just loved that she said hi. So if you ever see me there, cause I tend to frequent it quite a bit, please say hi. It's so fun to be able to meet those of you who are just the sweetest subscribers to our channel and part of our YouTube family. Um, but I hope that y'all are enjoying this video so far. I'd love to hear down in the comments below what your go-to pieces are that you look for when you are antique shopping. This was by far my favorite find from both of these shopping trips combined. It was a beautiful piece from an old general store and I had actually shared about it on Instagram the day that I was shopping and had a friend reach out. She and her husband are building a brand new home and she thought this would be just the perfect touch for their kitchen and she wanted to use it as a kitchen island. But by the time she got to the depot to check it out for herself, it had already sold. She was so bummed. But it was absolutely gorgeous, such a beautiful, unique find, and I wish that I would have had a spot for it in our home. to show y'all just how big this crock is it doesn't look like it from afar but I'm gonna put my hand up here and you can see I have never seen anything like it it is massive and definitely had a price tag to match I surely wasn't going to be taking that one home with me but definitely thought that it was worth sharing As I mentioned, I was definitely keeping my eyes peeled for some different furniture pieces. Um, I'm looking for something to go kind of in our entryway down the hallway where we have the beautiful antique bench. I think it's time to finally 
say, either say goodbye to that one or move it because we are running out of space for shoe storage. We store our shoes underneath that bench in some baskets, but either our kids' feet are growing too much or we just have too many shoes. So I'm looking for something like that, a little dresser, something that has some drawers that we can put shoes in, and then I could use the top space as a decorative piece. I thought this dresser was really, really pretty. I did want to take a quick second to share about my leather backpack that I'm wearing from Portland Leather Company. I recently discovered their brand just through a Google search and saw that they had 90,000 five-star reviews and immediately it was like, okay, I need to check them out. They sell leather products that are eco-friendly and sustainable and they're absolutely gorgeous. But what I love most about them is that their price point is definitely more attainable than a lot of other leather companies. I wanted a bag that I could wear just like a backpack and double as a purse when I'm out and about and want my hands free, whether I'm shopping or with the kids, and this was the perfect fit for me. I love this backpack so much. I'm gonna have it linked down in the video description below for you guys if you wanna check it out if you're looking for something similar. I also wanted to have an option that was gonna be good for like date nights or going out with my girlfriends that felt a little less mom-ish and a little bit more sophisticated. And so I grabbed this tote bag and I love how beautiful it looks in our bedroom just hanging when it's not in use. Gonna let the sun shine in the day I'm trying to make this darkness go away I'll paint with colors And I'll sing until my lungs give out mm -hmm. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day And I will leave my windows open So that I can hear the sound of I 
actually got to meet this sweet booth owner. She happened to be there that day restocking her booth and she has so many beautiful treasures and it was just really sweet getting to hear her story and she was telling me all about her sweet grandkids and it just really was precious. I love when you get to actually meet the people that are curating these booths. It's just a really neat experience. take a look at some of the items that I ended up grabbing at the depot. I was actually at the checkout register. This was not in my cart. I hadn't seen it, but I spotted it while I was checking out. It was kind of like when you check out at the depot, there's the cash registers and then there's a whole nother huge area you can go into that's open off to the right. And I had gone down that way, but I missed this and I saw it hanging up on the wall and I said, can I go grab that really quick, please? And so I grabbed it. It's just perfect for this wall right here. So I just took a little jute and made a little loophole. And I am using that to hang it up here. And I just push it all the way back. And I think it looks so cute. It adds so much character and just like a huge pop of color. I really love grabbing baskets like these because they can be used in so many different ways throughout the house. So obviously I can hang mine on the wall, but I can also use it as part of a centerpiece on one of my tables. I can use it on my bed as like a bed tray. And so it's just one of those pieces that's gonna last for a really long time and work well throughout the seasons. I think I ended up paying probably $35, $40 for this one, which is pretty average, I feel like, when purchasing a basket of that size. One of the things that I was looking for and had really high on my list were some frames for our gallery wall that we wanted to put together in the breakfast nook that you'll see in the next video. And I didn't find as many as I had hoped for, so I did end up, I think, picking up two, and you'll see them in that video. They're actually already on the wall, so I'm not gonna share them right now, but I just, I don't know, I really struggled to find the either right shade of gold that I was looking for or the right size and ended up just grabbing some from Target. 
might have a couple from Amazon as well and just kind of mix things in. I found one that was up in my storage closet and it's a really curated look. I think that it's something I'm really going to be enjoying for a long time. So when I was looking for frames, though, I wasn't really focused on what was on the inside because I knew that I was going to swap those prints out with some prints from the heirloom print shop. I decided to place a pretty decent sized order and get a bunch of different prints from them. Um, they're just so high quality and I really love ordering their prints. So we'll take a look at all of those in my next video. I figured this might be the best way to kind of showcase all of the items that I ended up picking up today there's so many good ones i am in love with this pine shelf i shared it i think at the end of the shop with me part of the video it is gorgeous i love the coloring i love that it looks kind of weathered and it has some curvature to the sides it's gonna be beautiful i think in our breakfast nook and i just cannot wait to get it hung up and styled i also grabbed a few dishes that i thought maybe i could use once the shelf is hung and kind of just style the shelf with these so y'all know that i am a sucker for white dishes this is an ironstone piece and it's really beautiful. It does have some wear to it, um, but it's just so heavy duty. It's really thick. And I thought this would just be a piece that I'm gonna be able to enjoy and use for a really long time. I also am just a huge sucker for these little custard dishes. I have a couple over in our coffee bar and I have them just stacked and I think they're just so pretty. So for $3.95, I just couldn't pass that up. I thought that was beautiful and would probably fit really well on the top shelf of this. And then I grabbed two books. We have a Theo and so I thought this was really cute. I love the coloring of this one. And then I grabbed a darker one just to have some contrast. So I'll probably style those and just pair them together. A girl can never have too many pictures and I love finding ones that are kind of varied in color from white to creaminess to this kind of taupey color. This one was 24 but it's in really good shape and it's really pretty. I love the size of it and I actually really love it paired with this one and so I was thinking that I'll probably end up styling them either on the bottom of this shelf or I might end up putting them on our mantle. So honestly, I have so many different spots in the house where I'll just have so much fun playing around with these. So I knew those were great staple pieces. This is like a masher, such a cute piece. I actually stopped and chatted with a shop owner for a little bit and she was going on and on about how much she loves these in the butter molds. And I've got a really pretty butter mold that I actually got at the depot um, probably a year ago now. And it's one of my favorite pieces. I just love the character. Okay, another bowl. This is actually a sticker, so I should be able to get that marking off. Um, this one was $8.95, which is a little bit more than I'd like to pay for a bowl like this. But I did just want to have a simple dish um, that I could potentially... I don't think it's gonna fit actually oh it will fit potentially put in there with some other things or uh, just using as decorative little pieces for bookshelves and tabletop and all that jazz so I tend to always grab some dishes while I'm at the depot just because I love the variety that they have the last two pieces that I grabbed. I love these shoe molds. I just think they're so cool, so unique. These have been on my list for a while and I really loved the coloring of these in particular, so I decided to grab them. They were $9 a piece, so not too bad. I also grabbed this basket. It was labeled as a waste basket, but I feel like 
I'm probably going to use it somewhere in our living room. So stay tuned to see where I end up putting that one. I'll hopefully share in the next video. And then I also grabbed this European jug that was at the very beginning of the video and I love it. I think that it's just a practical piece to have. It looks great styled on its own, but if you want to add in some stems for whatever season you're in, you can also do that too. Okay, that was everything. I hope that y'all enjoyed this video today. Don't forget to stay tuned for part two. Make sure your little notification bell is turned on and that you're subscribed, and that way you'll get notified when that video goes live. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, friends.